Gerrymandering. It's something you hear Democrats accusing Republicans of doing all the time. If the process is fair, Democrats will do just fine. We won't have to do what Republicans do, which is in essence to cheat. But on Wednesday, the New York Court of Appeals ruled that the congressional map New York Democrats enacted back in February was a partisan gerrymander that violated the state constitution. What they did was eliminate competition in every district across New York State. The redrawn map would have likely cut the number of New York GOP House members in half from eight to four. One of those Republican seats in jeopardy under the gerrymandered map was that of Congresswoman Nicole Maliotakis. In my case, my district, they took what would be conservative leaning communities in Brooklyn that were more in sync with Staten Island and shifted it to very liberal communities. Her district, Congressional District 11, encompasses heavily red Staten Island and the most conservative areas of Brooklyn. But if Democrats had their way, District 11 would have also included the heavily Democratic neighborhoods of Sunset Park, Gowanus, and Park Slope. 2014, the voters went by public referendum, changed the Constitution, and said they no longer wanted the state legislature in charge of the process. They wanted an independent commission to draw the lines, and they wanted districts drawn so it doesn't favor one party or a candidate. Whereas former President Trump defeated Joe Biden by roughly 10% of the vote in District 11 in 2020, if the district had been redrawn before that election, Biden would have beat Trump by the same margin. And clearly, the Democrats uh, overplayed their hand here, ignored the will of the people, took back the power, and uh, drew these lines that were unconstitutional. New York gubernatorial candidate Congressman Lee Zeldin saying about Wednesday's ruling, this is excellent news for the people of New York and yet another big time defeat for Kathy Hochul and her Democrat allies. It's the Democrats can't win by the rules, they try to change the rules. The new map being struck down is a big blow for Democrats, who would have likely gained three House seats if it had remained in place. As it stands, Republicans need to net just five seats in the House nationally to recapture a majority in November. In New York, for Newsmax, I'm Mike Carter.